Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some Ivorian and alright, so I've been playing with this whole docking thing uh, specifically to do with docking with other ships, not just stations, but actual either warships and stuff, at least in the watch last video where I docked with uh, multiple um, multiple uh, mining ships. Now, it got me thinking uh, specifically about carriers. Now, I've tried this with armed warships and I could not make it work. It might, I, I think I can get it to work. Maybe, I don't know. It's kind of a one of those things. But typically in Avorian, you get, when it comes to your squad, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times 10. So you get 120 fighters is all your ship is able to carry. Now, using the new docking um, ability, uh, I talked some, a little bit earlier in some of the other video about uh, being able to, you know, docking with, say, like, I, I call it a parasite. Uh, it comes from a Dave Weber novel. Uh, he's a sci-fi writer. Uh, he, some of his sci-fi stuff, he talks about massive battleships that had parasite warships with them. And it's kind of a similar idea behind that. Uh, in this case, what we're doing is building kind of a super carrier so typically we can only put 120 fighters on a ship now building with what i got here and so i'm going to use the h key here which means i'm going to interact with the other one on this side so this one i can give him orders now if he had say for example a captain and i told him to attack enemies he would dump his fighters he would he would actually undock from the ship now i've had a problem with this i'm trying to figure out how to way to do this so it doesn't undock and be able to do this attack the fighters or attack the enemies. However, it doesn't work so far. So, but you're still able to jump into that other ship. And doing so, you can also bring up their squad. Hit defend, and they come out. Jump back into your other ship. So now you've just brought in... So if you put that like at uh, 120 fighters in that bay right there, you just had 120 fighters jump out of that... And I can do the same thing for this one and ask them to defend. And I'm going to, so I only had six fighters. I had two in this docking bay here. But the potential here is that you're going to be able to dock multiple, essentially, carrier parasites onto your ship. Uh, you know, so I have a docking on this side, I have a docking port on this side, so I can put another 120. So realistically, I could have up to 360 fighters on this one ship technically one ship because I'd still have uh, three ships but they'd be docked together but they could carry up to 360 fighters into f into a so I mean, you, you, it's kind of mind-blowing to think that making them small enough or whatever that you're gonna be able to jump into a, a um, system and drop that many fighters off one ship um, the thing about it though is with these parasites is that these are not this parasite ship that I'm using here does not is not going to be covered by the shields of the main ship. So typically, with every fight I've got into, now I modified another one of my old ships to make this work. Uh, once I get into a fighter, once I get into a fight and I'm fighting something, typically the enemy, enemy ships go after the small parasites first. So if I had another one on this side, it'd blow. They'd try to blow this off. They'd try to blow this off. As long as they dump the fighters fast enough. Um, even if they lose their carrier, the home carrier ship, they're still going to fight. Uh, you can tell a, uh, a sh any any lost fighters, they call them essentially, to attack. So even if I lose the parasites, uh, war, uh, you know, these essentially parasite carriers, um, carrier blocks, uh, hangar blocks, I can still use their fighters even after they're destroyed. So even if I had, say, one, two, and I built another one down here, two, three, four, five, um, you know, at 100, so if I put five of these on at 600 fighters, I'm still able to tell those 600 fighters, or, you know, roughly, to, to attack. Uh, this instance, I'm just using them as a defense. Now, unfortunately, even after, you just, even after these are destroyed, you're going to end up having to probably um, rebuild them to be able to get the fighters out of here. Uh, and you typically want all the fighters that are you, everything you have, even on your main ship, to be the same kind of fighter. That way, you're able to 
call in lost fighters here. So I'm gonna rebring, tell my fighters to return, use the H button, jump over there, tell these guys to return. It's a little complicated, but like I said, I'm trying to work this out to make this work. Uh, unfortunately, when I tell them to attack something, for example, uh, let's jump back into him. And uh, I can tell these fighters to attack it. They'll go. And when I switch back into him, and I give him orders, and I go attack. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a captain in it. Do I have a captain with me on this one? Nope. Okay, so when I tried this with arm ships, what would happen was the uh, the end, the warship would actually undock from my main ship. So there was no way I could do it. As if there was a captain on here, it would undock and then it would attack. I'm thinking the same thing's going to happen here with the carrier. So, uh, but yeah, it's something to remember. Now, even if you don't want to do the whole jump into the ship and jump back, what you can do is also with the transfer is that. Okay, so now I got two here. I got, this is my main ship. Sent these guys all out here. I can transfer all of these, uh, transfer all the new squads in the, the parasite carriers over into the main ship uh, and send them out. So when I bring them back, I just have to keep transferring them back to my squad or back to my carrier parasites or my carrier pods, whatever you want to call them. It brings up a whole new bunch of gameplay here. So you, you're going to be able to build these essentially super carriers to a certain degree uh, that you, depending on how big you build it and how big you, you make it, you can carry probably over a thousand fighters just on one one ship. Um, I mean, technically it won't be one ship, but uh, you get my you get my drift, right? Uh, you're not going to have to build a complete ship, a complete carrier to carry multiple fighters. Um, I, I haven't tried this yet with resource gathering like a minor fight a minor type thing yet but i'm gonna start keep playing with these parasites or, po or pods or whatever you want to call it and see if i can work something out here okay so with that said you guys if you guys think this idea is going to work or try it yourself and see if you can come up with something better hey i'm all i'm all for that you know so i'm playing in my one of my galaxies here that old galaxy where i'm got all the resources and everything so i'm trying to play with things with this docking stuff and see if I can uh, change things up. Yeah, so, you know, even if you're, say, for example, getting in a big fight, too. I was even thinking about this the other day. If you're getting a big fight, you're cruising along here, you got multiple enemies here, you can start undocking these parasites and just telling them to fight as you make your getaway. Really, honestly, say if you're losing a fight, you can just completely knock them off, uh, let them be essentially lost, um, that kind of stuff. So you guys let me down in the comments below what you guys think of this idea. If you think it's going to work, possibly. I mean, I, I can make it work. It's just going to be a little bit more hassle than it needs to be. But yeah, I mean, technically, I could put enough parasites on this thing to carry a thousand fighters into a fight. So with that said, guys, uh, thanks for watching and you guys have a good night.